Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing Voldemort's background, or more specifically, the fact that Voldemort was a half-blood. The Death Eaters seem so proud of their pure magical bloodlines, so isn't it ironic that their leader, the Dark Lord himself, was a filthy half-blood? Tom Riddle, or Voldemort, would always refer negatively to his parentage over the course of the books and films, and we find out fairly quickly that Voldemort's father was indeed a muggle. However, the books and films are also a little bit conflicted on whether or not Voldemort's followers, the Death Eaters, were actually fully aware of this heritage. After all, how can they truly be hateful of half-bloods and muggles if the very person they follow is one? In this video, we'll be addressing the question, did Voldemort's followers know that he was a half-blood? When Tom Riddle was first sorted into Slytherin, he didn't know of his heritage, but the books reveal in Chapter 17 of the Half-Blood Prince that he quickly became obsessed with it. Because he had grown up in an orphanage, it was only natural that he sought answers, and would begin to look for clues within the school. It seems he searched in vain for some trace of Tom Riddle Sr. on the shields in the trophy room, on the lists of prefects in the old school records, even in the books on wizarding history. Finally, he was forced to accept that his father had never set foot in Hogwarts. It was actually Voldemort's uncle, Morfin Gaunt, that eventually revealed his true heritage to him. In the same chapter of the Half-Blood Prince, there is the following exchange between the two. I thought you was that muggle whispered Morfin. You look mighty like that muggle. What muggle? said Riddle sharply. That muggle what my sister took a fancy to. That muggle what lives in the big house over the way, said Morfin, and he spat unexpectedly upon the floor between them. You look right like him, Riddle. But he's older now, ain't he? He's older than you. Now I think on it. From what we can tell, Voldemort became truly aware of his heritage sometime between the ages of 15 and 17. Now, there are a few parts of the books and films that suggest that the Death Eaters probably know as well. However, it is never stated directly. To delve into this further, I'm going to start with a segment from page 231 of the Chamber of Secrets, where Voldemort reveals that some of his intimate friends at school knew of both his old and new identity. He pulled Harry's wand from his pocket and began to trace it through the air, writing three shimmering words. Tom Marvolo Riddle. Then he waved the one once, and the letters of his name rearranged themselves. I am Lord Voldemort. You see? He whispered. It was a name I was already using at Hogwarts. To my most intimate friends only, of course. You think I was going to use my filthy muggle father's name forever? So... Given that some of Voldemort's closest friends were aware of both names, we can say with some confidence that there were people who he went to school with that knew of his heritage. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that they went on to become Death Eaters. Further to this, in Chapter 23 of The Half-Blood Prince, it is revealed that fellow Slytherins found it amusing that Voldemort's father was a muggle, despite the fact that he was a descendant of Salazar Slytherin himself. So it was never a secret among his peers that he was a half-blood. This leads us to our next and more important question. Who did he go to school with and did they go on to become Death Eaters? A line from page 463 of the Half-Blood Prince gives us a clue. Good gracious, is it that time already? You'd better get going boys or we'll all be in trouble. Lestrange, I want your essay by tomorrow or it's a detention. Same goes for you Avery. The above passage mentions the name of both the Strange and Avery, both of whom we know go on to become Death Eaters. If they went to school at the same time as Voldemort, and we know that they become Death Eaters later on, it's fair to assume that they would qualify as the intimate friends that Voldemort had previously mentioned. This would also make them very much aware of his heritage. By the Strange, I am of course talking about Voldemort's peer who we believe to be related to Rodolphus the Strange. And if he's related to Rodolphus, it means that Rodolphus probably knows, which means that Bellatrix probably knows. Expanding on this, in Chapter 35 of The Order of the Phoenix, 
Harry mentions Voldemort's real name, Tom Riddle, to Bellatrix, which seems to enrage her. You dare speak his name, you filthy half-blood, she responded. This again supports the fact that Bellatrix is likely aware of Riddle's real name and background. So we can say definitively that Avery and Lestrange know of Voldemort's background, but what about the rest of the Death Eaters? Would they have told other people? Would those who met Voldemort after his schoolboy days have the same level of understanding for his situation? In the Goblet of Fire, Voldemort addresses all of the Death Eaters in a long monologue. In his monologue, he discusses his need to acquire his father's bone to regenerate, and the necessity to travel to Little Hangleton where his grave was located. The books imply repeatedly that Little Hangleton is a small muggle community, which is definitely not a place that a pure-blood family would live. Pure-blood witches and wizards were very proud of their bloodlines, and the abundance of witches and wizards that interbred with muggles meant that pure bloodlines were far and few between. In Little Hangleton, Voldemort's father's gravestone clearly reads, Riddle. So if the Death Eaters didn't already know that Voldemort was a half-blood, this would have been a dead giveaway, as they would have been easily able to recognize that Riddle was not the name of a known pure-blood family. So though he did not speak of it entirely openly, Voldemort never really seemed like he was trying to hide his background. In fact, he was proud of murdering his muggle father, and I'm sure he encouraged the Death Eaters to follow in his footsteps and murder any muggle family that they had as well. And that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. Until next time, you're a wizard, Harry!